and welcome back. This is Roy Lin from Beyond Us Games, and you're watching part two of our series on the basics of Tiled, which is a 2D map editor. Um, so last time we talked about creating um, our base map and the size and all that fun stuff. Today we're going to talk about how to upload tile sets and layers. So we're going to start with our tile sets. Um, if you ever need to remove a tile set, button right there. This is where the tile sets are going to be. So the first thing that you need to do is find a good tile set to use. A great resource is opengameart.org. Um, there's bunches of uh, fun stuff in here. A lot of it is free to use, but always make sure you check um, the royalties and uh, always, always, always give credit where credit is due. Uh, this is the tile set that we are using. Um, if you're following along with us and creating along with us, we have that link for you and you can download it as well. But um, I found this on Open Game Art. So let's go over to back to tiled. Um, there are two ways that you can insert a tile set. The first is by clicking up here on map and going to new tile set. Or you can click this handy little button down here, which also is new tile set. So click that. I'm going to name uh, the tile set they're using. I'm just going to call this one basic. Um, if you're doing a huge map and you are using lots of tile sets because there's a lot of diversity in your map, uh, you want to be very as specific as possible. Um, keeping organized is really helpful. So click on browse is your next step. Find your tile sets. Um, when you're looking for tile sets, make sure you know what size they are. This one is 32 by 32, um, and there's no margin or spacing. So if you are uploading a, a different tile set um, and it's a different size, this is where you change all that. All right, hit OK, and our tile set pops up here. Super simple. Um, like I showed you earlier, if you ever want to get rid of tile set, um, there's this handy little trash can here. And um, over here, if you have a really big tile set and you want to be able to see more of it, um, you can just shrink it down with this right here, which is super handy and helpful. All right, so that's easy. Second, layers. Layers are probably the most important thing when creating maps. Um, they... If you'll look back over here at our demo, I have quite a few layers here, and quite honestly, there is no way to make a map without using layers. So I've um, created our base layer here, which is grass. So I've created that first layer, and then I created a second layer, um, which is our river. If I, for some reason, wanted the river to be under the grass, um, there's this button right here, which can you can lower the layer down. Um, think of layers as uh, starting from the bottom of the list is a stack of papers. And as you put more papers on, um, you know, it covers up things. So now the river is the bottom paper and the grass is totally covering it up. That's not what we want though, so this up arrow will put it back to the right order. Um, we are going to create a bridge just to kind of show how to do this. So right here um, is to add a layer and there's a drop down menu here. So there's different kinds of layers that you can use. Since we're using a tile set, we want a tile layer. It's really important to label your layers really well um, to keep organized. So I'm going to call that my bridge. Okay, so now I'm selected on my bridge layer. I'm going to head into my bridge. If you click on a tile, 
and then drag, you can actually place multiple tiles on your map at the same time, which is super helpful. All right, so right now I'm using the stamp tool. Um, there's also up here a brush tool, which can be helpful. Obviously, that's not what I want right now. So let's go back to the stamp. Stamp that there. Okay, here's the middle of my bridge. Walk that across. There's the end. Okay, so now we have our bridge and it's its own layer. If I click this check box, you can't see our bridge layer and it is not there. Um, so this is helpful if you're making a map for someone and they say, oh, we really want a bridge on our map and you can be like, oh, okay. You put the bridge on there and then they look at it and they decide, oh, that doesn't really work for what we're going for. Can you take the bridge off? And, um, you know, that's super easy. Just go into here and make sure you're on, clicked on the right layer. Down here, you can just delete the layer and um, no more bridge. Everyone's happy. Um, if we go over to our demo here, uh, just another example of moving layers around. Um, so right now I'm selected on my garden ground, so the ground underneath of my garden here, if I were to move that up a layer and put it above my plants, obviously it would cover up my plants and that would not be helpful to anyone. Um, so you just move it back down. And that is that. So of course, as always, if you have any questions, please comment and we can walk through stuff with you. That's um, what we do. And I will see you next time for our part three and we'll kind of make a map together. So see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.